And after the Biden administration moved last year to finalize a rule to arrange the DACA policy into a federal regulation, a group of Republican-led states challenged that effort. So for some context here, DACA prevents the deportation of hundreds of thousands of immigrants brought to the U.S. as children known as dreamers. And the ruling is expected to be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. To give us some insight, we invited immigration lawyer Kate Lincoln Goldfinch with us today. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's dig into this ruling, what exactly does the ruling mean for DREAMers right now? The status quo remains. So this has been, this program has been in litigation now for years. So what we have in place is what we have had in place, meaning the, the recipients who already have DACA can continue to renew and keep their status. The recipients who would be eligible but never got DACA, what we call DACA initial, mm -hmm. they will continue to not be adjudicated. So while you can apply, you can't get an answer. But for the DACA recipients who have DACA, it's really important that they don't allow their status to lapse or expire because then they might get kicked into the initial group. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to maintain status while this is making its way up through the courts. Okay, and do we know why U.S. District Judge Andrew Hannon declared the revised version of DACA illegal? Yeah, it was kind of a surprising ruling because the Biden administration cured the problem, which was that Obama didn't follow the Administrative Procedures Act. But when the case got back down to Hainan, he said, you know what, now that you've you know followed the act and done the notice and comment, I still don't like a few things about the program. I don't like it's um, that it's not it's impermanent. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't like that the DACA recipients can travel uh, for reasons like education, employment or humanitarian reasons, or that they might get public benefits. Benefits. So it was a surprising, very disappointing ruling. Uh, but, you know, he says it's still illegal and now we're in the same status quo that we've been in. Mm, OK, and so we know that there are more than 500,000 people enrolled in DACA. Are we going to see any changes as we look ahead to that Supreme Court hearing? Probably not while okay. we're waiting. So we're looking at probably another two years of wait time. So this is going to go up to the fifth. The fifth will likely rule. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals will likely rule along with Hainan. And then it'll get appealed by the Biden administration in all likelihood up to the Supreme Court, which mm. would grant cert most likely next year in 2024. And then we wouldn't have a final decision until 2025. Okay. So we're going to be in limbo for a while. I think uh, dreamers who have intentions of traveling under the advanced parole program should think about going ahead and and getting that done because Hainan was very clear that that was a, a big issue that he took with the program so we could see some changes on the advanced parole adjudications. Okay. All right, Kate, thank you so much for that important insight about this ruling that happened today. Right now, tens of thousands.